Good day for everyone. Today we are going to explore how to use the new result visualization template for osmosis and clickhub. The first step is to go to this another repository. The link of this repository is provided in the description of this video. Once you are here, you can download the file just by clicking on this button and then you will have the file in your downloads. After doing that, you can open the file. It is already open here. So here in the first tab, you have the content. This is a kind of navigation menu that you can use for going to different tabs within the file. So for example, here we can click in the residential tab and automatically you will go to the residential energy production for this case and you can operate and work with this graph using the different filters that you have. We're going to, we are going to analyze this later. Then if you want to come back to the content, you can click on this button over here and then you will be again in the menu for going to another tab is you need. Now, the second tab is the data one. Here we are going to put all the results of the different scenarios that you want to include in the analysis. The first step here is to erase the default values that we have. After doing that, we are going to open all the files that you need or with the results of the different scenarios. It is important to notice here that we need to avoid opening other files with macros, like for example, the sign file, because it is going to be in conflict with the macro that is used by the, the visualization template. So take into account that it's important to close all other Excel files with macros here. Now, with the results files, as we can see here, we have three different scenarios. We are going to use this one. So first, we are going to copy. Please take into account not to copy the headings of the file. So here we are going to start in the second row. Then we can select everything. We are going to copy and then we are going to paste it. Here, take into account that we need to, pay, to paste it. Uh, from the second column because in the first column we are going to include the name of the scenario so here we can paste it this one would be the power scenario for our case we are going to select to spread the, not the name but then we need to erase all that setting names that are part of that after that operation then we can go to the second scenario so here we repeat the same process we copy then we go to the visualization template and we paste it. And for this case, our scenario would be the NDC scenario. Here, we are going to include the name for the rest of the values. We erase also the setting values that we have there. Then we are going to go to the third scenario, that is this one. And we repeat the process, just copy paste it in the second column, don't forget that, and insert the name of the scenario, in this case, NTZ. Again, we have here, and that's it. So, once you have all the scenarios, you can include two, three, four, any number of scenarios that you want to include is possible, you will have all the data inserted here. Now, in the third tab, we have the coding replacement. So it is going to transform all the codes that are present in our results by the long names with the description according to the naming convention that you have. This is the standard naming convention of the SAM files, but please take into account that if you have changed any name or you have created new technologies or new fields, it is pretty important to outdate this, temp this part of the template because it is going to outdate the naming convention as well into the second tab. So after verifying that you have all the same convention names as you use in your modeling, please click on the coding replacement button over here. And we are going to wait for some seconds for carry on the macro and doing the replacement in the second tab. So we just need to wait.
in this process there could be this kind of not responded part of the file but don't worry because it is just part of the process of the macro it is not going to fail and after finishing this we can observe that a new window will open up with the message that the code replacement was successful so we just add set and here in the data in the data tab you will observe that all the codes that were before now are replaced by the long names as we described before now this is the the third step and now finally here for our tabs with the results we are going to go to the data tab to the data menu here and then we are going to refresh all the data within the file and with this process automatically we will have all the scenarios in our in our file now if we want to 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 observe or to have all the scenarios for example here we need to click here in this multi select button so we activate it and after doing that we can have all the scenarios in the same template right so as you can see here we will have all the scenarios and we can do the same for the gr for the technology for the field for any slicer that you want to modify please take into account that you have to select the multi-gr the multi-selection for selecting multiple 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 themes so for example here we can include new gs like here 2017 we can include more technologies right here but notice that for example here i have not selected the multi gs so it will change automatically all the all the graph so for it for this example that is power generation we can select the multiple the multiple selection button and then we can start to include all the technologies which belong to the power generation so for example here we potential is not part of this so we can unselect it then this is the utility scale pv so it is part then we have solar pv we also have a smaller hydropower plant we have onshore one onshore wind power plant wind storage gas turbine of grid hydropower we have also medium hydropower large hydropower plant we can go up a little bit more here we have the gas power plants right here we have electricity electricity imports csp coal power plant and biomass power plant right so in that way we can select all the technologies that we need into the graph this is automatic in most of the tabs but please take into account that depending on the model and the system that you are you are dealing with you need to take into account and review that all the technologies that you are considering is are included in the graph so for example here if we check once again we can analyze if all the technologies are included so here for example notice that in power generation the csp is not included so again we can click here to select it and then to include csp just for taking into account that that technology is included in the graph and that's it okay so in the same way we can analyze for example here the power generation <clears throat> and one final feature of this kind of thing is essentially that we can change the colors so here we have a predefined template for updating the colors of the graph so if we click here on this button you can see that automatically all the colors are updated and we have like the same structure of colors for all the graphs if, if we do that finally just to notice here is that you have multiple multiple choices for graphs and variables that you can analyze so for example here you have power generation you have the start capacities of power generation you can analyze sectoral uh, implications of your modeling so for example here we have residential residential in case of the production of energy and also residential in the case of energy consumption 
the same for transport, for industry, for the commercial sector. Other energy is you want to analyze other kind of technologies. Essentially, essentially, if you are including or creating new technologies, you can use it here. Like for example, for hydrogen production, you can also have emissions. You can have also graph for plotting all the types of costs and so on. Okay. With that, you have all the introduction for using this new template. And thank you so much for your attention.